Welcome back to the Perp Network. This is Perparazzi number two. So this is footage I found on my camcorder. And this is prior to the pivot heads and the dash cam that I had. So this was before they really knew that I had a lot of surveillance equipment. So this is probably some of my best footage that I didn't really know I had. And lucky me, I went through it and found some classics. So we're going to put together a series called Perparazzi. And um, here we go. So I notice similar colored cars like to drive together in patterns. But, you know, that makes me a lunatic and schizophrenic. So let's just crop some photographs and see how schizophrenic I am. Now, this guy just got on the highway, and he's going to just swoosh past me. And he's such a patriot. Look at that little American flag painted on his big old truck. And we're just driving. So not all of these are going to be driving, but I will be on the road. But if you look on both sides of the highway, there you go. Similar color, similar style. And we're going to see more than that than most people see. I like the trolls who say, you know, oh, just, just ignore it. Well, I tried that for about five years. And I moved on to filming it and exposing it. Because ignoring it does you no good. But filming it is fun. <laughs> So, then we get to make movies and learn how to edit and get all kinds of new skills. So, this is just another trip. I do the same route all the time. But again, this is probably 2015 sometime. And we're getting closer to my home exit. So, things get cranked up really... Like, they'll, they'll save it for particular places. Like, my work exit particularly, and my home exit. So this is very close to where I live, and there's frequently a lot of parked cars on my exit that are brand new cars that seem to be broke down on the side of the highway, or people will be digging in their trunk, stuff like that, because most of my outside time tends to be on the highway, because, you know, they've taken... It's no fun to go anywhere anymore, so this is pretty much, if I'm outside, I'm, I'm driving to and from work. Thank you, America, for, uh, <laughs> for being the home of the free, land of the brave. Yeah, these are brave people sitting on the side of the highway harassing me. Alright, so, you know, there was an example of the parked car just randomly, brand a, a relatively newer car I'm driving a 95 and my car doesn't break down as as much as these uh, brand new cars seem to and uh, all right so we're gonna get down here to this end of this exit and we're gonna see three black one white and then like most of the cars that pass past me are also going to be color grouping and there's an example of that I'm sorry, my mom just coughed in the background. That was completely accidental. And we see a lot of, um, what does this guy got? Like a carrier a luggage thing on his car. See a lot of those. A lot of um, kayaks, bicycles, uh, boats, trailers. A an excessive amount. More than a normal person would see. If you're a targeted individual, this is very common. A lot of solid white or red and white 18 wheelers too which is um, you know most companies are pretty used to be very my mom was a truck driver used to be very proud of their logos and painted their trucks particular colors and um, a lot of the 18 wheelers tend to be solid white or red and white anymore as we turn into a police state Stasi whatever Even the school bus is white. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, that's that's completely normal. 
Okay, now there is an excessive amount of traffic in front of me. Look at that. There's hardly anyone. Sorry, that's my dog in the background. There is hardly anyone on the left-hand side of the road. Except for the convenient two white cars that happen to pull up. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get down here to the light, though, and get some uh, good stuff going. And again, this is like right after I got my camcorder, I believe. So, they weren't really used to me filming yet. So, they were still being pretty aggressive. They've kind of slacked off a little bit since I've gotten, like, professional at recording. But, this is pretty blatant here. So, we've got these guys. Next scene, please. And then we've got these guys. All right. That is such an accident. Yeah, that's a that was not intentional. I'm crazy and I'm seeing shit. Now let's watch the people going through the light. How they drive together as colored groupings. And if there's a white car, there's going to be a red car. That's a guarantee. All right, just sitting at the light, do do do, hanging at the light with the with the emergency vehicles. What's up? I noticed the really tinted windows. I think those are important people. The ones that have the blacked out windows. If you can get their pictures, you've really got something. Now I keep looking in my rearview mirror too because I want you guys to notice what pulls up behind me. Oh, we never see ladders, do we? And, you know, they drive together. Alright, don't drive with the camcorder. It's really unsafe. <laughs> now look at all these white cars pulling up. Now look at all of what's behind me. Yep, lucky accident. And look at the orange cones to the side there. Yeah, that was an accident, too. Okay. So we have a pedestrian to the left. And then, shazam. Again, another color grouping. Now look what's in front of me. I have two red vehicles in front of me. Another lucky accident. That happens to everyone every day. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have two red vehicles in front of you, and that is just random. And two, M two AMSs pass you. <laughs> um, but when it happens to you every single day that you go anywhere, bicycler, you see a lot of those, then it's a conspiracy against you as a human being, and people are trying to drive you insane. And we see tractors in the city all the time. Yeah, this guy belongs here. Doing all his tractoring in downtown Raleigh. Get your tractor on, you big boy, with your tractor. All right, so... Now we've seen this a million times. This is where I live. And I want you to focus on the pedestrians and how they're dressed. Now, we have two African-American men and two older white ladies who just happen to be wearing the exact same colors. What? Okay, so they must have got the memo, right? And I bet they're good friends. I bet they hang out all the time. Not saying it's not possible, but... Whatever. Okay, so we're going to get down here to the where I live, and we're going to see two more pedestrians. And I guess maybe they might have gotten the memo as well. Let's see. And I bet they hang out with those two old white ladies all the time, too. <gasps> no way. 
they're dressed exactly the same as the other people. I know, I know, it, that is completely normal. Okay, now, we never see what pop-up construction. It just happens to be there was nothing wrong with my driveway, but they had to tear it up and do something to fix it. Look at the big hole they made that wasn't anything wrong with the day before ever whatever okay so now we pull in and we've got all these white lined up and they all park side by side which is okay whatever now look across the street I know that is a lucky accident now we're gonna focus on the cars that are right beside me another lucky accident wow there's a lot of lucky accidents in my life peace out love you guys bye